Tommy jumping into the candy. And there we go. The candy. The candy we go from Dino Park all the way down there to its hot spring. It's a bit skewed to it, this other side for the flight path, but this circle is what really matters. Most of the players that like to drop on the northern side here will have a very long walk and long journey to go. For example, Aura, maybe even SMG, Zababa, Cosmodrome drops, even Team Fiat All Star here going on to Trevno, but ASTP, All Star Team Fiat, already found himself new. Rivals, it's gonna be saviors possibly. Oh, and the first blood already. Oh man, it's just so fast. Man, she get that one kill of Xavier's teammate. And now Choco is the first one to actually bow out and will be waiting in the lobby. But they're not done yet. Roy is close by with his opponents here. And now the space wind's going out. And the rabbits, can they get that one down there? Yes, he got Ooh. one. Oh, okay, oh, get no. the second one, but then again, they Will be a dig down for him. The doors will be closed. That will buy time for him to actually save his buddy Roy. Oh no, it's not done yet. Save your pin now. Next one to be knocked down. Chai actually pulled the truck. Load of bullet coming in, clutching it one by one. It's gonna be Chai versus the rest of Team ASTP. He need to revive Rabies, but he just too worried. He just run no. He leave him out in the open. He will take covers first. So G will be fired upon, oh. and now Red Kid tossing some grenades. Oh. oh, oh, my goodness! Oh, that's a lot it's of rage. Like, yeah, that's like what. Not even three minutes into the game, and Xavier is already out of this. Oh my goodness, that is crazy there. What a rage there. Yeah, he just had to like just taunt his opponents a little bit more. The moment they land, they have to pick up the fight straight on. Now we have one more team, YG. Just tried to corner himself, making sure he will stay low as possible. He won't be found out by the rest of Team Aura. But it's really close to his place. The Volnova will be possibly... What kind of circle is this? It's going to be included. The water ratio area. 30% of water. As long as the circle next one won't divide the circle into two ratio. 50-50 water and land. If not, it will possibly the hardest circle so far in the grand finals. This is exactly the circle that we have seen yesterday in Vikendi as well. <laughs> It's, it's deja vu. Like throughout the days, deja vu choo choo. Even in Iran, though. That's very true. Maybe, maybe tomorrow will be different. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow will be the same. So the players should know and adapt themselves how to adapt to this kind of circle. VGM straight running towards the corners of a shoreline hot spring. Some of them ended up swimming, if I'm not mistaken. Yesterday was Gig Fam swimming over in the river or the sea, making sure they got it safe for the positions. Yeah, and we had Yuru Gang as well doing the same because they played with two players at some point in this map. That's why they had to jump. Geek Fam was Mirama. So I kind of asked, uh, I kind of asked Knives yesterday, right? Like, why do you guys jump? Because it was a very interesting move, and he said that because they were sandwiched between RRQ as well as because of Red Aliens, so they have no choice but to disengage, and the only way is to jump into the water, which I think was okay. It was pretty brilliant because they got higher positioning from there, and there you go. It worked for them. Be creative. Yeah, that's true. You have to work with what you have, and these guys will actually be the best example for us. Arrow Wolf here, they are very sneaky. They're making sure they don't take the fight too early head on. They are very picky when it comes to taking a fight. Only take what's necessary. They are not bulldozing every single person, but be sure to kill still a lot of kills from the side flanks. But Arrow Wolf still going around this compound. Bigotron is nearby Thumb. Are they trying to move or not? Yep. They... Well, Microboy is kind of alone there. I guess he's just doing the scouting mode, but... Okay, not too sure about that. Maybe he mispressed his screen and those couple of shots that have been taken. And, oh, okay, somehow he does it again. But I hope that doesn't alert the other opponents, especially on the other side. You can see Arrow Wolf, the Indonesian team. But Microboy is all alone though. Hmm. Approaching Arrow Wolf, not a good, good idea, I say. Ah, he seems to be the scout probably for Microboy. The rest of the team is nowhere to be seen. 
but he's playing a very important role. He relay back all the rest of information that he need together. But if he can take the fight, why not? As long as he's hundred percent sure he can win it and get the secure of the kill. On the side of Gig Fam, seems to be having a bit of visitor SMG from the northern side. Box gaming. No kills yet, but we've witnessed Pime. The MVP just now about this game finally get themselves their first ever chicken dinner. And p will be the player to be watch out for. The MVP just now getting a huge high kill volume and quite decent amount of damage. But how do they mm -hmm. play? How do they fare in weekend? Yeah, exactly. How are they going to play here? For box gaming... Mm. Also, one of those teams, if they want to eye that top four spot, they need to like... They need to like chicken all the way and getting lots and lots of kills. And that's the only way really. If they drop a single game after this, it's five more games tomorrow. Nah, it's not going to be good enough for them. Bigatron Red Aliens on the other hand, yes, they have to slot. But if they want that championship, which is, well, nothing else that they would want from this tournament, they, they still can do it. They are still pretty good, I would say, so far. Of course, they want number one spot, not just four champions. That's a huge amount, lump sum of money. Lion Shelf, $30,000 in the back. It's not just mm. the glory. It's also about the motivation to keep you going. Yeah, and here we go. So, it looks, looks like it's going to be a stand-up. Oh. Hey, hang on a <laughs> second. Ah, <laughs> be me. What are you doing having here? Fun. He's just going to start here himself. I don't think he can actually get topple over, but Ooh. you know what? They just got an extra backup of vehicle and Pime will leave for another day. A bit damaged on the side of that vehicle, but it's okay. He's going to leave for another. Luckily, our RQ didn't actually peek out for what just happened. You know, that was interesting. I'll come back to the car a bit later on, but then again, let's look at G9 here. Takes up a couple of shots there to boss gaming, but okay, nothing big happened. Okay, about the car just now, right? So... It's confirmed. Okay, so I, I'm very confused about the physics of the car. Because if a car, normally the, what pushes the car is the is the wheels behind. And mm -hmm. his behind wheels, they were touching the ground, but but the car can't move. So that's why. So if you want to angles. take the theory of like, it's a fun, but it's touching the ground. But even the front wheels, if it's a four wheel, or if it's a unique car with wheels working in the front, it doesn't move. So, it's only like the two side wheels somehow moving. I don't know. That, that's like yeah, how the car yeah. mechanics is. <laughs> Maybe it's like ancient um, en engines for the car. Like some cars actually, the old ones, the classic ones, they have the engines on the front. So, it's actually the front tires actually moving instead of the back ones. So, this one, maybe the engines are lopsided on the left or the right side. That's why it's just moving mm. on one side of the car. But you know what? When you try to explain the logics in PUBG Mobile, it's never going to be enough in one particular tournament. It's going to be more than that. We've seen it define gravity, existence. How can you hike with a pickup truck? How do you hike with a minivan? I have no clue. But what I know right now, Hot Springs seems to be more than one team, 15 teams, possibly trying all to over-occupy on Hot Springs. And you are already smoking up here. Trying to toss the nade. Oh, he hits right on spot. Ooh, that's a definitely a very, very good nade there. But can he finish up the job now? Corpi is left stranded. But can his buddies actually go and help him? Oh my goodness, Corpi. Looks like he managed to get into the shack for now. But can he recover himself quickly? Lewis looks like we'll be taken out by one sack. And Lewis will be back in the lobby. And Corpi healing up. In the meantime, he has more than enough space to reset themselves. Corpi always got caught in a situation where he shouldn't be in, but managed to clutch in the very last minute. The moment he got cornered, that's where he will be forcing himself to be extraordinarily well. A performance surprises us sometimes. G9 on the other hand, RRQ at a small mobile. They are migrating to us inside of a circle. YJAK spraying out with G to the 60, not connected, not knocking anybody down yet. A bit disappointed with what they have and what they cannot pin down. I'd say YG already start to move for the next couple of seconds. Oh, we can see here that unfortunately 
uh, good thing that they relocated themselves and they were not gunned down there because, well, as we always say, right, at this level of gameplay, if you don't be careful, especially if you are riding a vehicle, you will get gunned down and the vehicle can be exploded. So you don't want that to really happen. Uh, but good thing for them just now. It was, I would say it was a pretty lucky move there. That's very true, very true. Lucky or not, sometimes you need a bit of struggle of luck in the game because you can spray, you can have good skill set. But what makes it difficult for the players is to actually predict the circle. If your predictions is off, it's not what you hope it will be. You're actually suffering more than you can think of. Speaking of which, Geek Fam QB might fight against SMG across the road while RQ. They will build this and go straight for a different compound to work on. Yep. And now we focus on Aura. Oh, this team, super struggle for them, really. Oh, man. I don't know. It's going to be hard for them to break into the top four at this moment. But Aura, come on. If they can get a chicken dinner, it will be for the fans here. And the next circle looks like it will shift and Aura still is playing by the edge of the circle somehow. RRQ Athena, they have a compound. And this is the circle here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it could still move towards Kantra or it could go towards Volnova. It could still happen there. And if, if it plays in between of that, hmm, we can see the great migration there happening and we can see all these teams just going ahead at each other and bloodbath will happen. This is more than, this is already considered as blood bath. Look at how overpopulated Hot Springs are. Simon Factory as well. RRQ and Aura seems to be landing at the same spot. While Bots Gaming will have a very clear pathway forging out for them towards Hot Spring. Coming out from the west side, it's also very vacant. I'm surprised how all everybody just focus on the middle of the circle. While the rest of the direction is so empty. You can even hear a cloud singing there. Yeah, I can hear me singing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What song do you want to hear me sing? I don't know. Sing me oh, one. Oh, I don't know. I'll sing you one, eh? One. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Two. <laughs> na -na. Okay, I don't, I don't remember the lyrics, but you want the one, right? So I give you one. Your age got busted here, Cloud. The moment you sang that oh. song. Oh. I know, right? Oh my goodness. My age just got busted. What song is that again? I don't know. Back at you one. Me. Yeah, awesome. that's the title. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Back at one. Yeah, it took me a while, but there you go. Oh my god. But PW Triple Eight here, Corpa is still the MVP and also the star player for their team. But can he relay back the information exactly as they need him to be? Because if he misinformed the team and they go in the wrong direction, it's either they're fighting against Young and Galacticons or RRQ. YG has been tailing RRQ since e Wrangle, if I'm not mistaken. SMG, on the other hand, have four different buildings. They can stick to one edge. Uh, while Team Secret seems to be having a bit of interest towards SMG. Yeah, looks like it. But SMG... Again, an up and down day for... I wouldn't say up and down day. It seems that, again, they are facing the same situation as Yudu Gang. At least Yudu Gang, they got themselves a chicken dinner today. Bring them back into the first page. But for SMG... They are the team that if they... If they drop one game... The following games, it seems to be very hard for them to recover. I don't know. Even if you see in the league, it's the same as well. The league and the finals for the MYSG. It's the same scenario. So SMG, again, we haven't seen them come back yet. It's already the last year today. If any, if anything were to help them to get to the top four, it's really this game onwards or tomorrow. That's very true. But hold that top for a second. YG, one second. This guy, one second, did so many miracles with grenades in the Solo King. He also did a lot of clutches by himself only. So one second, holding that particular angle just around the outskirts of Castle. We're still inside of a circle for now, touching the rim. While Cement Factory will no more be inside of it. Aura will have to fight against RRQ finally. But YG... Will be pinned down by Ara first. RRQ across them. It's going to be a three-way battle again. 
Yeah, it's going to be a three-way battle again. And this is what you get if you put on the best teams around the region all together. And PWAAA, they are still in this. They have this compound though. Not to Okay, I think this compound is within the circle. Just looking at the geographical location. But you are neighbors with Bigatron Red Aliens as well as Arrow Wolf. Hmm, interesting there. Bigatron Red Aliens... They sort of like have been in this area for, for a long time, but not really gatekeeping at the same time. But they know that they have visitors on the other side. PW888 is on the other house. Back towards the urban area. Now we're looking at Yudu Gang. Seems to be occupying themselves against Team Secret Jin. Team Secret Jin, they are one of the team that can make double chicken in a day. Changing their fate entirely 360 there. You got back to back two games to switch everything up. Got himself a top three just within two games. But we have one more member of Bigatron. Seems to be lost here. Out of nowhere. Only one person. You dig I think that's Microboy, possibly, who's cutting out for the mm. rest of Team Bigatron. Come up from the eastern side of the map. Well, Team Secret J Jin, sorry, Team Secret Jin is also Hovering around on that higher ground structures. Aura Roses again on the spotlight. While YG just want to be around Castle, dipping their toes a bit, getting a swim. And Microbot kind of like switched sides, right? So at first he was on the right side and now he switched over to the left side. Yeah, he's just there to give information back to his team so they'll be ready if any vehicles start to pass by and maybe they can take advantage of that situation. Now we move over to Aura. Jaden looks like super close by with Yangun Galacticos. Yangun Galacticos. Oh, Lord! Such a Lord gets the first free fire! And Jaden has been taken out by Lord. And can he finish him up? But nope. Roses is there to help his buddy. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Look at that grenade coming oh. in, Lord. Right on top. Perfect nade kill there. Jaden nowhere to be seen. Rose is knocked down. Now Cashy down to him. Can he go and save his mates here? Lord, with a micro Uzi, max out, then switch to GT6C. Making sure he can spray whatever he can in whatever distances. Rose is not being knocked down. He got chipped quite a lot just now. But there's going to be another nade coming in. He just drove himself to a retreat. It's going to be a disengagement Come from our cash is stuck there i'm not sure why he's still there but that explosion making sure he can have no exit out with no mobility anymore oh super sneaky there by lord i must say he was waiting in the bushes and the moment he knows his opponent is there he just stood up and take those shots crazy crazy Play by Lord there. But then again, Kenshi now, he don't have a vehicle. The vehicle has been exploded. And they may take advantage of it. Now we move over to Bigatron Red Aliens. Looks like they are fighting against Yudu Gang. And this is it. El Clasico, ladies and gentlemen. Bigatron rising on top of a roof. Fredo, he'll try to help Draxia, who's being knocked down. Manparang reheal himself. While YG is not done here against Aura, who forced himself into a retreat. Crawl into the shack, cowering upon the advancement of YG. RRQ might get them in a sandwich position because it seems that like they are going in that direction. While Team Secret seems to be pressuring around RRQ. The one coming out from Hot Spring, look at how many teams. Only four teams on top of that circle. The rest of them are wrestling it down. 11 teams just in Hot Springs and Volnova. We're back into the game. I'm not sure if Cloud is still here, but we'll wait for it. But back about the game we go. Seems like the pre-empty shot's coming out. Somebody stuck in between. It's going to be you to gank between Bigatron. They are on the lower ground. Bigatron rising on the higher rooftop. SMG taking down on kick. QB knocked down there. They're rising, tossing out the nades, hoping it will divide the attention to it somewhere else. But Ryzen stuck here and kind of separa separated from Luxie and Zuxie. PW888 seems to be hovering on their crosshair on Ryzen as well. And Fredo popping up the smoke, making sure he covers the vision on Ryzen that higher ground. But start taking a fight against Gig Fam across that uh, street just now. While Team Secret Gene Cosmos also seems to be in the same position as Bigger. Ryzen was. 
Oh, the third partying is happening here. And Secret Jin, could they be the thorn here? But now we move over to SMG versus Jake Fam. Snipes looks like he's in trouble. There's no way he can be helped. And Damru is on the other side. Oh, man. Damru, again, the last man standing for Geek Fam. And he's going to hold on to positioning points for his team. Definitely not going to make a sound at where he is. Well, it's not just him alone. Snipe seems to be oh, covered by so many members of SMG. They are smothering him in every way possible. Snipe gonna be finished off with a clean kill. Tricks managed to execute him from the pain that he has to suffer. Damn rude. Always the solo survivor for Gig Fam. Now have to be very safe, very careful. Cautiously coming in. Not even move an inch of muscle to be sure he won't be founded. Yep, and now we're back to the Volnova battle between three, I would say. But oh, oh. my goodness! Oh, wow! The circle. What is this circle? The what? This is a scam. Absolute scam. This is outrageous. Oh that oh, circle is just too much. Oh, it's really, really too much there. But then, oh man, it's going to be crazier. Iconic. Looks like they will be out. And Matoy gets a couple of kills there from RR Kill. And Matoy tossing out the molly as well. And that's a grenade kill that confirmed grenade kill by Matoy. G2 trying to get the revenge out to Matoy. But they get Matoy managed to go away. But oh, here comes the entry fraggers. They're going to clean up the party here. Beer manages to kill his buddy there, but then again, no, it's just too much with that. And a beer will be taken out, and there you go, eliminated from this round. It's our kill. Stellar performance coming out from Team Secret just now, cleaning up the mess. Very, very neat. I say that's one of the most uh, disciplined and clear wrap up. From one of the titans of Thai RQ going down, but Bigatron Rise is still holding on to this compound with this particular angle. I'd say it's pretty hard to be spot out by the rest of the other teams, and he gained so many information just by sitting on top of this structure. Yep, and Ryzen again, he is still alone there. That's a very interesting strategy there from Bigatron Red Aliens, I would say. Putting Ryzen all alone there, and he's still surviving up to now. And now Chua with the long range shot there onto Chopper, and Box Gaming is out of this thanks to Bintu. Oh, looking at Spray Chua, get one more with the explosion. Twanzi helps as well against uh, SMG, but Ryzen taking a fight against VGM. Then see this is going to be a three way war. They happen to pass by for SMG, hoping they can make it out alive. But so many preemptive shots towards them. I'm not sure how they get out from there. Even Team Secret. You high butts in. SMG Jenny got down by ice shots there. And ranking ASTPG, the two members of ASTP want to kill but the last surviving members of SMG swimming underneath that bridge with so many vultures on top of him. Bigotron, VGM, Arrow, and now ESTP. Taken down by Bigotron, Luxy across that bridge. That's a very long snipes coming in. Oh, and we can see that actually the circle moves away from all these players. They have a minute before they need to decide where they need to go. And now Bart is right in front of ASTP. Two team members from All-Star Team Puyat. And these players as well from V Gaming, they will need to move as well. They are playing by the edge of the blue zone. Not going to be good enough for them. And now VGM, V Gaming, do they want to stick here? Team Secret taking members of Aura, finishing off. That's made it by Team Secret Malaysia just now. Got themselves two extra points. All four members of Team Secret still well and alive. But their next contender will be YG. Young and Galacticon seems to be sharing the same path and direction where Team Secret will cross upon. Not just that, they'll be facing another gatekeeper across them, which the PW triple eight, but well, look at you high spraying on lot, knock him down such distance with that pizza shot. While SMG will place himself at 10. 
Yep, and here we go. Looks like Team Secret. They have the high ground, but they don't have the circle at this point. So they need to be careful here. They need to move somehow. They still have a complete squad, nevertheless. And now Rex recovers himself. V Gaming is just in front of them with Lord being knocked down. Now we move over to Bigatron Red Aliens as well as other team members of V Gaming. And Bigatron Red Aliens, they can gatekeep this. Oh, so far, Yuhai having one of the highest kill volume down there. Five kills by himself only. I'm not sure how many kills they have so far. Nine in total, just by Team Secret with nine teams still alive. Mini 14 at eye shot. We do know this guy have a hog eye view with his eyes. He will not miss his chance when tapping out from sniper distance. But look at the Molotov being tossed here. Bigatron, Ray Allen try to finish off v, uh, VGM or V Gaming just now while they are fighting against one more team on the other side. Arrow Wolf seems to be struggling today. They will be taking down the throne even though they maintain their top 3 for now. But so many teams want them to be out including Team Secret. Yeah, definitely, because Arrow Wolf, they are on top right now. If you want to take over them, you have to take them out. And now we're moving over to V Gaming. They're tr trying to struggle. They're struggling to actually get into the circle at this point. Now, Team Secret, from afar, they somehow still manage to get into the circle. And they will tap away onto other team members. And now we can see a V Gaming. They will go for it. Big as a ray, Atlas, right from the Arrow Wolf. Just on the outside now, at the same time, the Blue Zone will also butt in to this team. And Duarte will try to finish off Big as a ray. Ellis and Tuanzi, she is still surviving this somehow after all that. It's not over yet because Arrow Wolf still have one more team. VGM, they have to deal with Hazelnut next with Bauf as well. And they're losing so many members by the police and shrinking even furthermore. We're talking about a sixth space, chipping a lot of HP away from these players and PW Trooper 8T. Scouting over Team Secret very quietly now. Corpoi taking on Vision on Cosmos. Team Secret Gen didn't see this one coming to try to get on the airdrop, but the airdrop is in the middle of the river. While ASTPG may be the last member of ASTP entirely, Arrow on the other stay as low as possible, being pressured by VGM with a lot of no nades and Molotov being tossed. Team Secret. Still want to take as a third party will coming out from the flanks. And here we go. Team Seeker with the sprays going out, but then again, the circle doesn't play favor Team Seeker. You high have been knocked out by GZ, it seems. And now V Gaming, they managed to secure this compound, but then again, the neighbors said they don't want Arrow on the other side. Potato has this spot on my Rex. Now Rex will take out Potato for the long range shot, but then again, you high will recover himself thanks to his buddy. But Rex taking out one by one. He moves on to the other side, takes out Cosmos, and now they will toss out the smoke. They will create that smoke cover into the circle, but they need to face off against Secret Jin, which is just in front of them next. Oh, but wait, Team Secret Malaysia just charging into where Team Secret Jin is, and now the rest of the team. Kind of where are the whereabouts? Team Secret attract way too much attention. Unwanted once and cost my shot down an eye shot. Not just that, VGM fighting against one more team. And PW Triple Eight also seems to be battling it out. And it's gonna be two way war for Team Secret. They're stuck in between two oh. teams. PW Triple Eight and also Team Secret. Cosmos tossing out the Nate. Jay Z choked down an oh. eye shot. Clean execution. And Cosmos, look at the Nate. Multiple Nates coming oh. in. VGM taken down by Team Secret. Jin as well. How am I supposed to cover two wars done by Team Secret Jin at the same time? This is two different angles he's talking about. Oh, absolute two different anger. And now Secret Jin, they're all four their team members on that. Now Mata will be taken down by GZ. And there you go. Team Secret is out. Taken out by Secret Jin. And now Secret Jin, they have a full squad here. They will take prime position behind the trees, behind the vehicle. And they have the circle here. Secret Jin, this could be their third chicken dinner today. PW Trooper 8 struggling with a lot of pressure from Team Secret. Jenna Aero will bowing down on top place, but still maintain a top three. Arrow Wolf, how did they do it? And now PW Trooper 8, one of the teams are actually trying to get themselves squeezing into the top three. And they are climbing up the ladder boards, the leaderboard charts, the about Team Secret, Jen. This team is on fire today. 
Oh, Secret Jin, definitely. But it is fair ground right now. It's a 4v4, but Secret Jin, they have the advantage of the circle at this point. Four more seconds until the circle closes in. And now we shall see 2k. Looks like he gets the kill, but Kopai has been killed by Cosmo as well. Now, this could be Secret Jin's game to win. And now we can see here that 2k is trying to go for the flank here. Can he finish off up? The smoke is still covering him. 2k crawling across. Now the moon and smoke dissipate. The three members of PWJ8 got themselves oh, a huge ice. chicken in front. But wait, it's not done yet. Almost knocked down not TT. Done. But that nade no. from the side no, here he almost run. killed Kenzo. But GZ got one down. And now GZ knocks oh. themselves. Stops there. 2K taking down on tops. It seems like they are exchanging God fire. Knows. But TT not dying in the last moment. Team Secret Jin. How did they do it? How did they still get one more chicken for themselves only on day two? My goodness me, holy smoke. Man, I 